All right, let's build one of my favorite props from Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Yondu's Finn. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. All right, so here's Yondu's fin. It's all printed and in two separate parts here. I have not done any cleanup work yet on this. This is fresh off the printer. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is glue in the magnets that allow you to snap this together so that it stays in place. Got some magnets here. These are just magnets that I've picked up in different sizes. Very interesting to see one of my magnets shattered here. A little hard to see. Leave that out to the side. So what I'm gonna do is I have some smaller magnets and some larger magnets. Uh, the larger will go on the underside. That's gonna go to my head. It fits those circles perfectly. Uh, the smaller is gonna go on the inside. And the reason why I'm doing that is, uh, is because it's nice and flush. So here, this will be flush with the, the fin. And especially when I put a little glue in there and press it in, and compared to the larger magnet that's here. Man, I think that's the second, look at it, second magnet that's shattered. I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and glue in the magnets. Make sure don't burn your fingers, folks. It's hot. I'm gonna take a little wood filler and apply it to help smooth out any of the rough areas. I love some wood filler. And now it's time to sand it all smooth. I typically use 120 to 220 sandpaper. Now applying some XTC 3D to help further smooth out the print and reduce any print lines. And now it's time for more sanding. It never ends, folks, it never ends. Adding a little primer filler. This helps fill in any small divots and gives it a nice gray coat. Adding some Bono spot putty, and of course, more sanding. One more coat of primer filler, just to make sure there's no issues. And now it's time for some color. I do love me some Rust-Oleum paints. And now it's time to get it all dirty. I'm gonna weather it with some black and red and brown acrylic paint. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. And here it is, Yondu's Fin, created by Downey Creative Studios. Uh, Betsy over there has designed this and it is an absolutely wonderful print for you to work with. It is two separate pieces, as you guys have seen. And here, let me pull it off. And as you can see, I've, I've done a little blue, blue paint work here. But the fin itself is magnetically attached, so she's designed it so that there's places for you to include magnets on this file, and it basically snaps in place, which is great because if you're actually going to cosplay with this, you're more than likely going to want to um, not just place it on your head like this. Actually, it fits on my head very well and is pretty stable for the most part. If I bend over, obviously it's going to fall off. But if you want to glue this down with spearmint gum or whatever that stuff is that people use to glue uh, different pieces of cosplay stuff to their body parts, uh, you'd want to be able to remove this. So she's made it so that you can take this on and off so that you can get inside of your car and uh, drive with it on even. And it's a, I think it's an absolutely sweet, sweet piece. Very, very happy with how this turned out as well. If you're interested in printing one for yourself, I've got links down below to her Etsy page where you can pick up the file. And again, it's super easy to print with. I printed this on my CR10 and my CR10 S4, which by the way, I am loving having that huge build volume on that thing. And uh, it took a handful of hours to print, probably about, I think it was about 12 hours for the main fin and then maybe six or so for, uh, for the lower half. And the quality came out great. 
uh, ended up painting it as you can see here and weathering it a little bit. There is also, I should mention, a place that you can wire this with LEDs if you want to light this up, as well as a spot for a battery holder here. I have that on order. Um, it was just gonna take a little bit longer than I wanted to in order to shoot this video. So more than likely, I'll do a follow-up showing this all lit up with LEDs. All right, found a red LED here. And as you can see, once you insert it there, it lights up. It's a little hard to see because of the daylight than the window that I have over here, but uh, you'll see how it illuminates the front portion of the Mohawk fin here, just like it would in the movie that they had digitally added. So it's again, very cool. I love the magnetic feature. I love that that has that incorporated into the designs. Normally that's something that I have to either drill out and add in. So this is uh, really cool. It's gonna be a great piece to have on display. It's very easily recognizable as what the heck this is, especially obviously if you've seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and fits in wonderfully with a lot of the props that I have been working on lately. So let me Slap this back on here. Yeah, come here, boy. <laughs> I really don't know what Yondu says in the movie other than a Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> which I can't even do the voice very well. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon members. If you're interested in becoming one, you can find links down below. Their support really helps me continue to make videos like this on a regular basis. Hey, also, if you're interested in picking up one of the files for yourselves, I've got links down below to Betsy's Etsy page where you can check that out along with a lot of her social media. She has created some ridiculously amazing cosplay stuff so make sure to check her out it's just i'm like in awe of some of the stuff that they've done so again thank you for sharing this file and letting me share it with everybody here i absolutely love this build and again can't wait to get it up on display with some of my other stuff hey thanks again for watching you guys i hope you enjoyed and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe like the video all that crazy stuff that you know you typically do if you enjoy the videos obviously so hey thanks again for watching you guys and i'll see you next time bye now is it a little weird that i didn't paint my arms on all of this but i painted my face <laughs> and fingers crossed this actually comes off pretty easily because i've got a pretty big meeting on monday i'm mary poppin y'all i'm mary poppin y'all I'm Mary Poppin' Jaw. Hey, I'm Mary Poppin' Jaw. Hey, I'm Mary Poppin' Jaw. I wonder how many times I can say that. I'm Mary Poppin' Jaw.